If you have one of these and you have no idea what you need to do to go from out of the box to playing games, well, this is the video for you. So stick around, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to do to get this thing set up once you take it out of the box. Before we get started, if you're into tech hi-fi or movies, be sure to push the subscribe button for new weekly videos. To level set, we're working with the new MetaQuest 3. So you'll have the main unit, the headset, and then you're gonna have two controllers as well. Now, from a controller point of view, the first thing that you'll wanna do is pull out these little tabs. And this will allow the batteries to get contact so these actually fire up. And you'll do the same thing over here for number two. And now these guys, should be ready to pair with the headset. Um, from a headset point of view, uh, one thing to be uh, cognizant of is on the left side, in, integrated into this uh, band is your uh, charger, right? So this is actually your USB-C. It's not on the larger unit. And uh, when I was looking, I was like, where the heck is this thing? Well, it's right here. So, so step number one, if you need to charge a little bit, plug this thing in, but this should have enough power out of the box to get started. All right, on the inside, you're gonna to wanna to pull the plastic protectors off the lenses. With the controllers and lenses ready, now it's time to put this on and get going. The power button is here on the left-hand side. A three-second push will power the unit on, and you will see the meta symbol floating in the air in front of you. All right, and at this point, what you're gonna see is uh, a augmented reality screen that shows what you have in front of you, plus a small screen of instructions showing you to pull the power strip out of the controllers to fire those up. Okay, after that is done, uh, the video now uh, shows the use of the uh, controller buttons, uh, and uh, the uh, each controller is showing its pointer on the setup screen as well and it's prompting us to pull the trigger to test. In the bottom right hand corner of the setup screen, there is a blue move right arrow, which they want you to select with your controller. After selecting the uh, move right blue arrow, you get to select your language and then click right. Then it asks you to adjust the straps on the back, which I've already done, and the strap on the top. Then you click on the bottom right continue now it asks you to adjust the tilt on your headset, which uh, articulates here. Bottom right to continue. Now you adjust the lenses, and there's a wheel here at the bottom right here that you can use to adjust the spacing of the lenses, and adjust those until the screen looks the way that you like. I think for me, about a 64 seems to be pretty good. Then you hit continue. And now you're at the section where you can choose to connect to Wi-Fi. We're gonna select the left op option, which is enter Wi-Fi details on your headset. And uh, then a Wi-Fi screen comes up and it shows all of the different options available to you. And then it's asking for a password. At this point, it splits the screen. So there's now a keyboard down below where you can peck out your password. With that, I hit the blue check mark. It connects, authenticates, obtains an IP address, and we are now done. And I can click a done button, large blue button at the bottom, and that screen disappears. Now we're at a screen that's titled Continue Setup in the MetaQuest mobile app. I've installed the app on my cell phone, and uh, actually I had it installed already from my MetaQuest two days, and uh, after opening the app, it automatically identified that uh, it wants to pair a new MetaQuest 3. So we're gonna go ahead and hit Start Setup. And it says, enter the Wi-Fi details in your headset. We've done um, that. And we'll continue with the existing avatar, which I think my son made. Looking for headset. Headset update in progress. Now my headset is beeped and it is rebooting. Now we have a notification that says pay your headset with the MetaQuest app to continue and it gives us a code. Okay, now it says the headset update is complete and start pairing.
appearing your MetaQuest, and the MetaQuest makes a little beeping sound there. I wonder if it's going to make me input the code or not that it showed me. I guess not. All right. Uh, we can see here that we've got 61% charge on the Quest 3. Both handsets are at 100%, both controllers. Continue. Acknowledge the safety. Acknowledged. Designed for your privacy. Continue. Uh, let's share that data to make this better because, you know, why not? Let's enable hand and body tracking. Welcome to your new Meta Quest. Before you explore, let's create a boundary to make sure you don't bump into anything while you're immersed in virtual experiences. It gives us a create your boundary start screen. We'll go ahead and click start here. It says it's trying to create a boundary. And it gives you the option to choose your own boundary. Now, I assume that if I had been looking around during this, it would have created a boundary for me automatically. But since I wasn't, now it gives me this option to create a room boundary, room scale boundary, or stationary. Um, for this, I'm going to go ahead and just create stationary. As that I'm sitting down and... Um, it's, I think it's easier to film this for you this way. So I'm going to click on that with the controller. All right, it is now asking me to confirm floor level. And it has made floor level the level of the top of my cluttered desk here. Which I think for setup is going to be just fine for now. I'm going to confirm that. And then it's asking to confirm the boundary... And the boundary is around me here, right? Okay, in a circle. Uh, I'm going to confirm that. Clicking the blue confirm button. Time to open your universal menu to choose what to do next. Press the meta button on your controller. All right, let's open the universal bu uh, menu by hitting the button on my meta controller. If you look at the top of your controller, I'm using the one for my right hand, it is the button all the way to the right hand side with the meta symbol. You're all set. Discover apps, find friends, and explore. All right, and it opens up this menu. And as you heard it say, you're all set. Or maybe you can't. This uh, The speakers sound really good when they're on your head. Um, but uh, it says at this point you're all set. Dis uh, you can discover apps and start playing. That brings us to the end of the setup tutorial for the MetaQuest 3. Hopefully my, my, my through the eyepiece iPhone filming has been helpful to give you context of what's going on. Uh, but that was very easy. It took about 20 minutes all in uh, to do the setup. And uh, very, very easy. I would only suggest that you have your cell phone ready and with the app installed ahead of time. Uh, and I think that made things go a lot more smoothly. Um, but with that, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, share with all your friends, and we'll see you in the next adventure, which might be some MetaQuest adventure.